Hello everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ICQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are in chapter 3 and we are still continuing with 3.2 TAA design and we are in the part 3 tutorial of this where we will be completing this particular segment. In continuation with the previous tutorials, the TAA design also includes understanding on time and complexity for the testware architecture implementation which generally means what is the time required and the complexity involved for different test wares to be involved as a part of architecture implementation. Now, of course, when you get into the detail of that, there are further things to be understood while the effort estimation for a task project is responsibility of the test automation manager. A TAE obviously needs to support the test automation manager in this by providing good estimates for the time and complexity of the TA design. Whereas the methods of the estimation are quite usual than the generally like the test estimation approaches. So we know from the test estimations of the uh, entire process, which generally uh, comes with the wide band Delphi expert based approaches or planning poker and all. The similar way we have different approaches for the estimations of the automation as well. Analogy based estimations such as function function points, three point estimation, wide band Delphi, and expert estimations estimations by use of work breakdown structures, WBS method, such as those found in management software or project templates as well. Parametric estimations such as Kokomo, which is constructive cost model, size-based estimates such as function point analysis, story point analysis, or use case analysis. That's like, again, quite common, which is very often used to estimate the process or the effort. Group estimations such as planning poker, which is again from the test estimation point of view. So these are generic things which are quite uh, common for everyone to understand and remember or easy to understand what exactly these techniques are which can be applied to estimate the time and complexity. On the other side, we have ease of use for a given testware architecture implementation. So one is the time and complexity. Now ease of use. Now when you talk about ease of use, obviously in addition to the functionality of test automation solutions, its compatibility with the SUT, its long-term stability and availability, its effort requirements and ROI consideration, a TA has the specific responsibility to address usability issues for a task. Now, of course, there are a lot many other involvement, not only the ease of use, there are many other factors which need to be considered when talking about the automation. This includes, but is not limited to, tester oriented design of course the testers will get contribution done for the same ease of use of the tasks to determine how it can be easily made use of like user friendliness task support for other roles in the software development quality assurance and project management effective organization navigation and search in or with the tasks useful documentation manuals and help text for the task practical reporting by the and about the tasks, iterative designs to address task feedback and empirical insights. So as we understand here, uh, there are a lot of different ways by which the same can be done. And there are different ways uh, where we basically recognize that what are the activities which will make the use of architecture or ease of use for the given test where in terms of architecture for the TA design. So that's all from this particular tutorial team and that completes 3.2, uh, 2.1. So 3.2.1, we'll be getting started with 3.2.2 in the next tutorial. Should you have anything, this chapter is going to be actually long, so kindly bear with me. There will be a lot of topics, but we want to make it as simple as possible for you so that you can make most out of your certification learnings. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to address your queries and questions. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding about the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.